But before we start with the presentation itself and dive into details, I would like to share with you a few more facts about Rossler. Rossler is a global leader in the access control domain. Rossler brings 40 years of experience in the security area and delivers advanced solutions across the globe. Rossler owns multinational in-house R&D teams, product design and manufacturing capabilities. We develop, manufacture, and sell products to all major markets, supporting our partners to deliver projects of any complexity and size, from a single entry access point to multinational cooperation with most demanding requirements. I will present you today in this session the Rossler's Axwax NG Access Control Management System and its main features. The Axwax NG is the software that is used for all of our networked panels from two doors with one panel up to 1,023 access control panels. It is the same software all down the line. In this presentation, I will run you through the main features of the Axox NG management system. You will see that we will go over some really nice and useful features of the Axox NG. But first of all, you should know that it is truly a client-server architecture. And when we say server, it does not have to be installed on a server machine, just a standard desktop PC for a small system is more than sufficient. We do recommend you only use it just for the access control software and so nobody is out there browsing the web on it frequently and that kind of things, because otherwise it is just asking for troubles. But it is truly a client-server architecture, so you can have additional clients connecting back to that server. You can have up to 40 simultaneous clients at this point. And uh, this is what the engineering folks are saying. And you can have a client on somebody's desktop in HR, so it can issue additional cards. And you can have also one client at the guard station upfront, so you can keep on an eye on what is going on in the system and on the premise. Now we will go over some more features. And the first one is the door interlock or man trap. The door interlock prevents two doors from being open at the same time. You step in, the outside door closes, then you can enter the next door. Seeing that more and more with businesses that want to protect the property and want to be able to protect themselves from anybody rushing the door. We've done that frequently in a lot of dispensaries and pharmacies and also jewelry stores any place with, L, with high value materials to protect. Anti-passback. Okay, so what is it anti-passback? Anti-passback is a mechanism in the Axwax NG software that prevents somebody from re-entering an area if he hasn't exited it first or using the same card over and over again to get, to get in. And it's very flexible. I can do it based on time and then it is timed anti-passback, meaning you can't use the same card again for let's say 10 minutes, one hour or 24 hours. Or suppose you entered an area, then you can't read back in if you haven't read out. This is the door anti-passback. Global anti-passback is when you enter an, any access point throughout the organization, and it doesn't matter which access point it is, and it can be even at a remote site, but you can't re-enter any other access point unless you have exited first at any exit point throughout the organization. AC-Links. AC-Links are automation uh, mecha mechanism of the Axwax NG system, which are rules defining how the system should behave when events occur in the access control panel. AC-Links are the way we can do some customization. And the simplest example is that where we tie a schedule to a door to have it unlocked on schedule, but we can do a lot more with it. We can redirect one reader to another door. We can set up toggles, you know, have a unique code that you enter on a reader and it doesn't even have to be the reader for that door to trigger the door. And honestly, there is also here an opportunity for you to better serve your customer at the same time. Time and attendance. In the Axox NG software, there are very nice built-in reports that do basic time and attendance tracking. The only thing is it requires you to define an entry and exit reader, 
at least one of each. You can have multiple, but you must have at least one of each. So we can tell when you enter and when you leave the premise in order to do the time and attendance reporting. The time and attendance reporting are very flexible. You can track total time or you can actually get drilled down to details like when the employees came to their office and when they left for lunch, that sort of things. Time zones. A time zone is a group of periods within a week. Door access rights, as well as alarms and inputs and output behavior, can all be said to behave differently for each time zone. Many operations can be automatically enabled or disabled within a selected time zone. We mostly use time zones to set up the time intervals in which access is allowed for the specific users. The number of time zones is dependent on the panel type. It is 32 time zones for the 215 panel, 128 time zones for the 2 to 5 and the 4 to 5 panels, and 256 time zones to the 8 to 5 panel, and all with 16 segments each day. So in other words, if you need to build a bunch of different schedule, let's say for a school, I can build, for example, the bell schedule in there with almost as many segments as I need, up to 16 per day. And I can have up to 256 different schedules if you want to try to manage something like that. Car parking management. The Axwix NG software is built in a way that it is really designed to manage a parking area with a gate. You can manage an area and can even have multiple area defined, meaning that you can manage multiple parking lots based on the number of vehicles in the parking lot. So if the lot is full, you don't let anybody else in. And yes, we can actually trip a relay to turn on a light or a sign to tell that. But another use for this that has popped up here of late, meaning lately with the COVID-19 emergency is that this feature can also be used with any RFID reader to control access to an area and to, and to limit the number of people allowed into this specific area at any given time. It is something to think about, you know, it is very easy to set up and it is maybe an easy way to solve, hopefully, this temporary problem. User data. When you define a user, you open a ticket for him in the system with all the information about him. All your user data is managed in here. It is a one-stop shop. You can actually use it, and we see this in a few places like HOAs and such, but there's actually fields in the database under the user data to have things like addresses, email addresses, license tag number, etc. So you can actually do all that all within this one software. It is also possible to import and export user information into or from the Axwax NG database to a standard spreadsheet file. Integration with Hikvision or DAWA. We have this running quite a time in the field and we see that it works very nice. What it allows you to do in the software is to have a pop-up or save a snapshot or a video message on any access event or any alarm event. So if you have a door forced open, you can trigger it to, gra to grab a snapshot or a video clip of who forced the door open or who is holding it open. Likewise, you can just take a snapshot of people when they swipe the card for verification later. By the way, you can also have that pop up at a guard station so we can see who is coming in the door. And you can actually have it pop up both a photo that is on file loaded in the software ahead of time, as well as the live picture at that moment so the guard can literally do a quick matchup. Reports. The Axox NG system can produce various reports, including usage reports, attendance records, visitors, and roll calls. Axox NG includes four main categories of reports, and each category contains multiple kinds of reports. The first category is immediate reports that list details of recent movements within the last few hours. They are shown in the display area and can be exported. The second category is panel reports that displays details of all recorded panel, panel events. 
Then we have system reports that list details of system and operator activity. And last, interactive reports that list details of users and the access activity. We can have filters with these reports like searching by user's name, time and date, location, access point, and, and so on. The Actrox NG wizard allows users to design their own custom reports based on the needs. Another important feature that the Actrox NG software supports and I want to dwell on and emphasize is the elevator control. With the elevator control feature, you can control access to individual floors. You can determine who can go to which floor and when. It is just like it's using regular access groups, those access groups in which you control who can go where and when. In the same way, you built in addition to your access groups, a separate group to control who can go to which floor and when. The AC825 is the panel you are going to be using if you are going into the elevator control business. Elevator control is limited only by the hardware, meaning how many outputs you have available on which panel. But with an A to 5, that becomes almost unlimited as far as the number of floors, as every floor needs one output. You will see that the R8 of 5 expansion module that provides additional outputs is going to be your expansion you will use for elevators. But first of all, you do need to put one AC8 to 5 per elevator with at least one R8 of 5 meaning you've got to have a controller, an AC-8 to 5 per elevator, and then you can use as many R8 to 5s as you need, but only for that elevator. Keeping in mind also that the panel does not have to be just for your elevator control. You still can utilize the doors on the AC-8 to 5 as well. So if you have an AC-8 to 5 for elevator control, you can use those other reader, reader ports to control other doors that are within reach. So that way, they are not totally wasted. But remember, you can't have multiple elevators controlled off a single panel. It is just the way the software works. And for more details regarding setup, connections, and wiring, you can refer to our elevator control webinar presented by our, our global technical support director, Mr. Mr. Miki Malkovich. You can find it easily on YouTube. And now some few features that we will run through very quickly. The first one is visitor management. A visitor is a person who has made a visit to a certain user or department and does not have a permanent tag. We have a specific module in the Access NG software for visitors. So registered visitor can be created with specific access rights and you can issue temporary card for that visitor. Email alerts. We can set up and get email notifications for almost any event that can trigger an AC link. All we need is access to an SMTP server. That means we can set email alerts on access events, alarm events, and many other events that occur in the system. Another supported feature is batch printing. Batch printing is a built-in module in the Access NG software. It supports pretty much most any batch printer, as long as it is set up as a default printer in Windows. You've got to have the proper drivers loaded and you're good to go. Customized weekend formats. We won't go into much details here, but suffice it to say that we have about two dozen different formats we can work with. So if you are using our readers or HID's reader, it doesn't matter, we can support most any Wigan outputs. If one of those formats does not work, we can develop or can build custom formats also. And now we can see here a very advanced feature, a very nice feature, status maps. The status maps creates a graphic display of the statuses of every door, reader, input or output, and alarm in the facility. And that is done on user-selected floor plans or user-selected images. The system can display multiple nested status maps, allowing users to show either the complete access control network or a specific area in details. Event pop-ups, we've already kind of touched it. We are talking about pop-up screens when something happens like swiping a card in the reader, it will pop up with details and give you all the information and tell you what's going on. We can also do that for alarm events and I can have it 
through a pop-up on the guard station screen for an example. It reminds us the email alert, something like that. The Actrix NG system supports enrollment by desktop readers. We have desktop enrollment readers for our standard cards, the 125 kHz RFID cards, and the 13.56 MHz CSN Select smart cards. And we also have desktop readers for the Bluetooth BLE and UHF RFID credentials. This way you don't have to type in a long string of numbers and you know, make mistakes. We can see our desktop readers, the DR12C, which is EM and TEMIC enrollment reader, the DR6255, which is 13.56 megahertz smart card CSN enrollment reader, the DR6280, which is MIFRE Classic and Desfire EV1 enrollment reader, and last, the DRU955BT, which is multi-technology enrollment reader for UHF RFID credentials with Bluetooth support and also 13.56 megahertz smart card CSN. Server monitor. The Access NG server monitor is a program that monitors the Access NG server. Server monitor is a tool that just runs down on the tray on your Windows desktop. It is a tool we use to be able to see what's going on in the background. The main window of the server monitor contains the following four topics. The first topic is the common info that shows general system information. The second topic is database connection that changes the database connection string. And please note that administrator password is required here. Then we have restart server that restart the Axox NG server. And again, also here, administrator password is required. And last, there is options, SMTP configuration, reports directory, and user static IP option. Regarding licensing, licensing there is no charge for the software up to 256 readers. Now, when we say that, we do have to clarify that it means reader ports available, whether you use it or not. So if you got a bunch of four door panels, but you are only using three readers on each one, they are all still counted as four readers for each panel. So just keep that in mind. But up to 256 readers, the software is free, and there is a one-time charge for a license to go above that. It becomes in buckets like a thousand, two thousand, etc. No monthly fees and no recurring charges from us. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Thank you for being with us.